Hi everyone, it's me again. Um, got some news. Um, got a new tool out for you. Uh, just just going for final beta testing. Uh, it's called Quick Videos. It's new Quick Videos. Um, the video uh, video editing package for Aros. Um, I obviously can't do this all from scratch, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a project. Now it's a very very basic project, uh, just to give you an idea uh, of what's what's capable of. Um, on the left hand side here you can see the what we call the crouton panel um, crouton's uh, a name that comes from the video toaster date it's a kind of um, doffing me hack as we say over here to uh, new tech uh, they might get upset and I hope they don't but um, if they do I'll change the name um, anyway uh, croutons what we do is we, we you wrap uh, an image uh, a video uh, an animation in a crouton and you give it certain settings so if I double click on this here, you'll now see that I've got uh, uh, some uh, sample uh, images from that video, clip of video using. Them. Also, you see here start time is 13, end time is 39. Now that's seconds. We, um, we because we're using Mencoder and uh, player, we're limited to the one second. Well, it's not actually one second. It works out about one second boundaries for. So it's not frame accurate editing, but um, uh, but that's a Mencoder limitation. Um, and underneath here you can see uh, we've got the video frames per second now we're just going to leave this as video only and you can overlay a soundtrack if you want one um, but that's the video crouton I've got there uh, also if I want to run this video it'll load it up this is this is actually quite useful in fact hang on let me just pause myself uh, this is quite useful because you can use the slider at the bottom to find out the seconds which bits you want to uh, cut in and out Okay, so let's shut that down and cancel that. Um, this one's been done the same, but you can see with this one, I've gone along to 102 uh, and uh, 124, so between those um, seconds in the video. You'll also notice on the right-hand side, you can see here that it says frame by frame 2. That's the preview frame. So the image you see up here, these images, um, that's the uh, image that's stored here. So you can choose which one you want. So if I want, for example, number 3, which is different, um, I can change that and there you can see it's been updated okay so that's um, the creation uh, oh the bottom one um, this is actually quite an interesting one this is um, we can take sequence either an individual image and we can make it last for a few seconds or we can take an animation now this animation has come from uh, figures I haven't loaded it up hang on a second let me just load this up uh, what be long, sorry about this. God, this is always the way, isn't it? Here we go. This is Lunar Paint. We use, I like to use Lunar Paint because it's got a PNG output and it can handle animation. So I've put this, I created this image and been pasting it in so you can see it flicks around a little bit and changes. And then I can export that as a uh, sequence so I can then drop it into there. Um, Okay, so now on the right hand side you can see we've got the um, some details about, well that's not very good, it's just about the sequence, but if I click on there you can see it's got details about the video. This is actually a DV video that's come straight from my camera. Um, the video was about two or three minutes and I've just cropped those two clips out of it. Um, so it gives me some basic details. I can also, um, as you see down here in the soundtrack on the right hand side, um, I can select a soundtrack to go over the top of the whole thing, so I can use Audio, audio Evolution 4 to create a, you know, a, a music score or a voiceover or whatever, and put it over the whole thing once you're happy with it. Um, here's my frames per second, so I can change that. Here's my um, the size of my screen. Now, unfortunately, this has actually gone off below, so you can't actually see all of these. But there's a custom one at the bottom, so I can put the figures in. And the same thing for my bit rates; they go up. At the moment, it goes up to 4,000 kilobits per second. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll just render this. Okay, so that's now done. So let's have a quick look at that. We'll open up M Player. Let me bring that up a bit so you can see it. Stored in RAM disk and click on here. Um, got some news. Um, got a new tool out for you. Uh, just, just going for final video testing. Uh, it's called Quick Videos, um, and it's uh, part of Quick Toolkit range. Um, 
but I got. Um, I managed to go there and this entire video with it um, and to show you the pieces. Um, so uh, uh, that's it. Um, thank you very much. Right, let's skip through to the end a bit. Oh, that's let's see. Thanks, uh, Thanks a lot. Bye. There you go, and there's the animation at the end. How's that? Uh, this is going to be out in the new year, uh, maybe even by before the end of the year. Um, uh, I think it's going to be a good little tool for Eros. Um, we do intend, um, if there's interest, uh, to port it to uh, OS4 and Morphos, um, as long as the um, people in those areas uh, support the um, the cost, shall we say, because this was not done for free. Um, so uh, if people do want this, I'll put up a bit later on about what's involved, but we want to know if people want it ported. It wasn't very expensive, um, so um, just get in touch with me about that. Okay. Finally, uh, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Christmas and a, a prosperous new year. Um, so that's everybody, everybody watching this, regardless, the Ross community, Amy community, Morphos, everybody. Um, yeah, hope you get what you, I hope everyone gets what they want for Christmas and um, uh, it's a nice uh, holiday for everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye.